Atlas 3A is the is the future of the company. It's the the future of Lockheed Martin. It's somewhat scary and exciting all at the same time. I've been working on the Atlas family for 11 years. I've been working with the Atlas program for two years now. I've been working the Atlas family since Atlas 1. I've worked on the Atlas program since 1987. To uh, eliminate parts from the booster and the upper stage, all in all we're saving about 15,000 parts compared to an Atlas 2. I've worked in the, on the AC-201 in the clean room. My role on 201 actually is just a little bit of everything. I did quite a bit of all of the uh, propulsion work on that vehicle. My job was mostly in the harness area, the electrical. We named this uh, new series of launch vehicles the Atlas III. When that first fire went off, I was so excited. And uh, the next day, I'd just walk around with a smile on my face. The Atlas III is about 10 foot bigger in length. That's why it required to modify the path. I started the program in San Diego in 1982, and the Atlas I program progressed through and lived with it, grown, grown up with it. We'll have 17,722 seconds of test time, over 107 tests, and over probably someone on the order of maybe 27 to 28 different engine builds. On launch day, I will definitely be watching uh, AC-201 launch. I do have plane tickets already for that trip. <laughs> Absolutely be watching on launch day. I think it's exciting to be able to work on this project because of the integration between the American technology and Russian technology. I think it's exciting. I get to point at that and show my daughter and say, look, I helped build that. I helped put that in space. This is uh, kind of what I like to call the uh, AC-201 uh, Atlas 3A Run for the Roses. So it was kind of like a milestone in history. We all know that in order to get to orbit, all it takes is a thousand little miracles all to work perfectly, all in the right sequence. One thing we have to our advantage is that we're going from a more complicated vehicle to a simpler vehicle. I have a four-year-old son that says, my daddy builds rockets, and that's his job. I think it's very important to our company to move on to the next generation. Every one of you are critical to the whole job of having a successful product. But I also wanted to make a special thanks to all the family members, and that's what I like to call our silent hero, because they're the ones that give us the moral support to get us to where we are today. This is an extremely important flight. They've done an absolutely phenomenal job, and uh, I want to thank them and congratulate them for all of their hard work. Ready to report to resume countdown. Atlas Systems Propulsion. Go. Hydraulics. Go. Pneumatics. Go. Hello 2. Go. Vehicle Electrical. Go. Light Termination System. Go. Pellet Utilization. Go. Center Systems Propulsion. Go. Hello 2. Go. LH2. Go. Vehicle Electrical. Go. Light Control. Go. CLS Monitor. Go. Light Termination System. Go. Telemetry. Go. RF. Go. Complex Systems Instrumentation. Go. Launch Control. Go. Thermal Control. Go. Boom. Go. Launcher. Go. Water. Go. Complex Electrical. Go. Now Monitor Vehicle Loads. Go. TV Control. Go. Operation Safety Manager. Nice 45. Status check, propellant. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. 
Go Centaur. Go Maddox. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. This is Atlas Mission Control at C-10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. And the RD-180 engine roars to life and lift off for the maiden flight of the Lockheed Martin Atlas III rocket with the W-4 spacecraft on board for Eutelsat of Paris, France. With this Atlas flight underway, let's listen to Mr. Rob Gann providing ascent data from the telemetry lab. Clear of Atlas, beautiful roof control. Atlas Nominal Beco. We have locks pre start. Thanks. We have ignition and full thrust. The center main engine is up and running normally. Normal operating parameters and the center main engine. Everything continues to look normal on this mission. And we have bearing separation right on time. Everything is looking absolutely normal on this mission so far. This is Atlas Mission Control at L plus. Three minutes, 53 seconds into the flight. Spectacular videos. We have had a nominal mission so far. And center of propellant tank pressures look good. Engine operating parameters continue to look good. And helium storage bottle also looks good. down the middle of the range track. Everything perfectly normal on this mission thus far. And we are now 
332 seconds into the mission, the vehicle is 124 nautical miles in altitude, 464 nautical miles downrange at 10,400 miles per hour. And we do have our roll to Tedris. Everything's looking good thus far. And we continue to see normal thruster activity in the reaction control system. Engine continues to burn normally. HRP is going to close loop control. Center engine responding as expected to change in mixture ratio. RCS activity continues to look good. The silent tanks are stable and at the right levels. And rates continue to be right down the middle. For vehicle rates, everything looks good there. And we are steering through our dog leg maneuver. In the trajectory, everything looks good there. This is Atlas Mission Control at uh, Mission Elapsed Time of 6 minutes, 49 seconds, counting. And we are now on Antigua data. Everything continues to look good. And mark events look uh, pretty close to nominal. Engine continues to operate normally. And coming up on Miko 1. Acceleration profiles, right where we expect it. And we have a loss of data at this time. Blink on approximately 10 seconds to Miko 1. And we have indication of Miko 1. Pumps are spinning down, pressures are where they're supposed to be. And we have 4S engines on, right on time. And we should be starting our pre mess 2 sequence any moment now. And we have 4S engines on. We have locks pre-start. And housing temps are responding. We have ignition and full thrust. Since our main engine is up and running normally. Start signature looks good. RCS system is off. And center PUs and closed loop control, everything looks good. Miko 2. We have Miko 2 apparently a little early. And 4S thrusters are on. Continue a normal spin up. And we have spacecraft separation. Both brake wires indicate a satisfactory separation. And the vehicle is de-spinning as expected. Mission success for the inaugural Atlas III. A successful flight, and we've had spacecraft separation. A uh, beautiful flight, an absolutely fantastic mission.